All right, in this video, we're going to go over the, cal the uh, calibration of the film sensor and the ribbon sensors. Um, these are, need to be done from time to time so that the, the printer knows what panel it's on and on the ri ribbon and then where the uh, the position of the uh, the ribbon I mean the film um, as it's uh, creating a card so with your printer booted up um, and there's ribbon and film in the printer the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to come to our computer. This is on Windows 7, but it's going to be a similar process, or well, the same process for all of them. Um, with it booted in and plugged up, it plugged in, it booted up and plugged in on uh, USB, you're going to go to Devices and Printers, and you're going to go to your uh, printer driver. So in this case, it's a 5000. And we're going to go to Preferences. From Preferences, you're going to click on Toolbox. And in the Toolbox, this is uh, you can do multiple things from in here. But uh, we're going to cal you can calibrate the ribbon, and you can calibrate the film. You can also calibrate a laminator if you have that, and, and clean the printer, which we'll go over that in a separate video on maintenance. So what we'll, we'll start with, um, calibrating the ribbon. So when you click on that tab, it, you can, it gives the instructions right here. Uh, you want to make sure that the the ribbon ca cassette cartridge is removed, that the printer cover is closed, and then you're going to click uh, Calibrate. So we're going to come back to the printer. We're going to remove the ribbon, which is the one on the right side, the bigger one. Then we will come back to the driver, and we will click calibrate. Now you need to be a little bit patient on this because it takes it a few seconds before it uh, begins. So you might think that nothing's going on. Don't click multiple times and and uh, you don't need to do anything else. It, it'll take it a minute. And the process shouldn't take more than 30 seconds or so. So here it's starting to cal calibrate. And the, the film sensors in the uh, in the back, the lower back left side of the the bottom part here, where the, the cassette foot slides in, and it just tells it tells the printer which one of these panels it's on at, at each point during the print. So what you should get is this calibrated past calibrate past. If you don't get this, if you get you, you might get a, some kind of an error and it says reboot things like that, or it might you might hear motors immediately start spinning and things. If you get that, unplug the printer. Plug it back in, bring it back up, and go through the same process. Once it says that it's passed, okay, you don't need to do anything with the... Uh, and, and you need to do this every time you change out the ribbon, and, and it's not a bad idea just to do it maybe midway through. It's not like you could do it too much, too many times. On the... Uh, if you start getting errors too, um, it's a good idea to go ahead and do it. Now what we'll do is we'll come in and go to the calibrate film. We don't need to add, we don't need to put the uh, the ribbon back in. We don't have to leave it out. You can do it either way. But with the film, you you make sure that the the cartridge is installed and it needs to have the the film on the the cassette, and then close the the uh, cover and hit calibrate. So we're going to go ahead and hit calibrate. This one should be immediate. It always comes up immediately. You'll hear the You'll hear the, hear the motors advance just slightly a couple of times, two or three times. This only takes 10 to 15 seconds total. Again, you should get calibrated past. If you don't get that for some reason, um, first thing you're going to want to do is inspect your ribbon to make sure that there's not anything obviously you know a problem with it but what it's doing is it's it's got two sensors in here that are monitoring where these black boxes are and that tells it where the tells it where it's at and where it needs so that it knows where, where it needs to go to put the correct panel on because it's overlaying each one of these panels will 
transfer to this film and so it has to overlay each one of these panels onto that film so, and the printer needs to know where it's at in that process otherwise you would have a blurry uh, image or color problems things like that once you're done with that process um, you can install the ribbon again and you're ready to go